Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad Lone Wolf, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a video um, on basically uh, cleaning of a transier stove. Now, it's going to be a little bit more exciting than what it sounds. Um, there are um, there are stories about certain things that you can do to a transier um, to help make cleaning up after cooking with a transier um, easier. And I'm going to be exploring some of these myths, uh, or not necessarily myths, but hacks today to see whether they work. Now I know um, I haven't got all of them here. Um, I know there's a, a lot more out there. Um, I'm going to be testing three of them today. One of them I know works, the other two I'm not so sure about. Um, I'm a little bit dubious about, but hey, that's the, the nature of uh, testing out some of these hacks. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is put together my mini Trangier stove. This is Trangier Triangle. This is the uh, lightest weight one, uh, the lightest and smallest that the Trangier do. Just three metal sheets that you put together, they fold together like so. And then take this ring, goes into the middle. Then you take stove, just making sure that I've got that in the center of the shot. Yeah, pretty good actually. Slightly. Now I'm not going to give these. I'm not going to give the stove a full burn. Um, give it a decent burn, but not a full burn. Put the methylated spirits out of the way. Because um, obviously the idea is that I actually want to get these pots and pans as dirty as possible because uh, there's no point in doing uh, cleaning hacks if uh, if you don't have dirty pots um, so the first one I'm going to do first one I'm going to use is this is going to be the control um, so this is going to be the control there's going to be nothing in this burner um, or nothing on the pot or nothing in the burner um, and the reason I'm using this one is because it's non-stick anyway so it's not going to be doing a lot should we say right so let's get the stove lit i'm not using any fancy bushcraft methods on this just an ordinary match make sure it's lit yeah that's lit okay matches over there as well now even though this is obviously to um a cleaning hack video i am going to be using some water because i don't want to dry don't want to put a pot over a a flame with nothing in it. So just a little bit of water. Right now, this is the this is the boring part, if you like. Now I have to sit and wait for the not only for the, for the water to boil, but also for the flame for the stove to actually dirty up the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to pause the video here. Um, and then I'll come back, uh, I'll come back once it's burnt enough to give us, uh, a dirty bottom on the pan. See you in a second. Okay, so the burner on the control pot has just, uh, gone out, and that's what we're left with. It's lovely and dirty, um, so we can, uh, so you get an idea of, um, what it's like to clean up a pot after uh, using a transier as standard. Like I say, this is non-stick. This is a non-stick pan, so it's kind of null and void, um, really. But it gives you an idea of how dirty some of these pots are going to get. Um, so I'm just going to let the uh, the burner itself cool down uh, before I refill it, and then we'll move on to the first of the hacks. Okay, so now that the burner's cool again, I'm obviously going to refill it, and this is going to be the first of the hacks that some people use to make cleaning um, up after a transier stove easier. Uh, I'm going to fill the, the burner about halfway. Uh, 
And then, this is the hack that's supposed to make cleaning easier. And to be honest, I can understand why some people think this, uh, but at the same time, I'm a little bit dubious about it. Um, the, the hack is that you put a couple of drops of water in with the methylated spirits. Now the idea is um, that it thins out of what is already a thin mixture, but it thins out the methylated spirits and uh, just makes it easier to clean off of your pots. Like I say, I'm a little bit dubious about this one. Um, now I might have put a little bit too much water in in relation in ratio to the methylated spirits. We'll find out. Um, the reason I put the tent pegs on there is because I'm using this pot for this one. As you can see, it's fairly clean uh, on the bottom, um, but it doesn't actually sit properly on the on the trangier. So I've had to use pegs as um, as a stove rest. But anyway, let's put some water in there. And then we'll light the we'll light the stove. No, totally missed that one. Can't even tell if that's lit. Yeah, it is. problem I associate with uh, water in the methylate spirits is it lowers the actual burning temperature as well so just makes it a little bit harder but let's that's not what we're testing today we're testing um, how easy it is what this hack uh, means in terms of cleaning up afterwards so once again I'm now going to pause the video and come back once the burners uh, once the burner's done its job, hopefully it will boil some water. We'll find out. See you in a second. Okay, so the burner with the water in it has just run out. And you can see it's done a, done a fairly good job of making that dirty. Um, we'll see how uh, useful that hack is um, when it obviously comes to cleaning the, the pots up. Um, the thing you might have noticed in it that's uh, been added is the cup of coffee there now it might come as a big surprise that actually yes i do drink coffee on occasion but i also thought as i'm boiling water i'm not going to put the boiling water to waste i might as well make myself a drink hence why the cup of coffee um but uh give me a second i'll let the burner cool down and then we'll move on to the next hack or supposed hack okay so i'm just going to fill the burner up again for the third yeah third time um again i'm only going to fill it about halfway rather than all the way okay and <clears throat> for this uh for this one we're going to be using this pot standard or the smaller of the standard mess tins um you can buy in pretty much any other outdoor shop um you can see it's still it's lightly burnt but um Nothing too bad on there. Um, so obviously I'm going to make that nice and dirty now. Um, but for this hack, um, or this supposed solution, salt. Yeah, personally I don't think this works. I'm really, really dubious and I really can't understand the chemistry behind it. However, it's something that a couple of people have sworn by. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, now they say just a few, just a few granules. Like I say, I really don't know if this makes a difference. That should be enough. Yeah. I'm really dubious about this one, I will admit. Let's find a match that's not broken. Do. 
right. On that goes. Okie dokie. Right, like I say, I'm really dubious about salt working, but we'll find out. So I'll come back once the burner's done its business. Okay, so just while the burner's uh, burning the last of the fuel out, that's uh, that's the third, that's the mess tin, uh, obviously, with, that had the salt in it. Um, it's lovely and dirty, um, so we'll see how easy it is to clean um, uh, in a few minutes once uh, I've done the last one and uh, Give me a second and I will be back with the last one and I know this one actually does work Okay, so the last one of these uh, Just while I refill the burner, I'm going to explain that um, this one. I know for sure actually does work um, And it involves washing up liquid and it doesn't involve using washing up liquid after um, you've cooked your food in it. It actually involves washing up liquid before anything else uh, or before you start cooking. And the idea is that you take some washing up liquid, might be a bit runny, might have got a little bit warm in the sun, and you actually just smear it, just a very, very thin layer, smear it on the outside, just around the bottom edges of whatever pan you're going to use. You don't need to put a thick amount on there. You just need to put a very, very thin amount on there. But I know for so I know for a fact that this works because this is the method I've been using for years. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you how it works. match get the meth slip that's going I can hear it now for a second there I thought I hadn't got it going right let's get some water in there Now this doesn't ru doesn't ruin the taste of the food or anything like that, um, and it doesn't affect the heating uh, or the warming through or anything like that either. Um, as long as you don't put too thick a too thick a layer of washing up liquid on the bottom, and you'll see how effective it is uh, after this, and when I come to um, show you how uh, when I come to wash up each of the pots and the pans you've just seen, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the that's the final one. Um, that's what the pot looks like at the end of that. That's the one with the washing up liquid on it. Um, while the burner cools down, I'm gonna set up the camera inside and uh, I'll take you through the next part of this, which is actually seeing how easy it is to clean uh, up using each of these methods. See you in a sec. Right, so here we go to the next part, and this is uh, seeing how clean and how easy it is to clean each of these off. Starting um, in the same order, basically, as we did. Now, all I've got in here is a bowl of warm water. Um, yeah, warm water, I was going to say hot, but warm. And all I'm going to be using is a piece of kitchen towel. Um, I'm not going to be using any washing up liquid or anything to scrub it with just yet because the idea is to see how easy uh, each of these methods is to make how easy it is to to clean up afterwards so obviously we're going to start with the control uh, the control pot which is um, non-stick anyway so hopefully this should be really really easy all right yeah. okay Not bad, not perfect, but not bad. Hopefully you can see that. So it's got most of it off, but not all of it. Um, so we'll come back and uh, retry that in a second with um, a scourer, pot scourer. Right, this was the pot with um, some water in the methylated spirits. 
So let's see if that's made any difference whatsoever. A little bit, but not much. Yeah, there are easier methods, but I don't think we can call that exactly perfect. Okay, this was the one that had the salt in it. Let me change the kitchen towel over. And we'll do the same again. Ooh, actually. Actually, I'm quite surprised about that. It's not a method I've used before. So, like I say, I was a little bit dubious, but without scrubbing it, that's actually got rid of a lot of a lot of the soot. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Like I say, I'm actually quite surprised at that. So I'll put that over there. And then last but not least, this was uh, this had the washing up liquid. The washing up liquid put on the bottom of it so let's i know this one works but you might be surprised how easily it works and just like that just like that again not quite perfect but i think you might be quite surprised at how quickly that actually worked so out of those four methods, um, without obviously without scrubbing, I will go back and scrub them again. Um, that's obviously the best, that's the one with the washing up liquid. The control, which was non-stick anyway, does need a little bit of a scrub, but probably not a huge amount. Of, huge amount. Then it's kind of tied between these two. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say the salt is better than the water, uh, which I'm surprised about. Uh, but um, let's go ahead and give these a scrub again without washing up liquid, um, just to see how easy they are. So we'll just use standard pot scourer. So this was obviously the one with the salt in the methylated spirits. Okay, again, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well that's come up. Again, it's not perfect. I'm not aiming for perfection on these. This is just to make sure, or this is just to see how easy each of these hacks make it. So, it's actually pretty decent. Surprised at that. So, a few minutes scrubbing, or even a few seconds scrubbing with the pot scourer and it's virtually back to the way it was. Obviously it's not perfect, like I said, I'm not aiming for perfection on these. Um, I'm looking for ease of use. Uh, right, let's do the one that had water on it. Water in the methylated spirits. Oh, I can, see, I can already tell the difference. Yeah, this is harder. This is taking a lot more elbow grease. Still a lot easier than it was, but it is taking more elbow grease. Yeah, again, pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised, but um, yeah, still prefer the washing up liquid. Right, control pot with the anti-stick on it. I'm going to put 
the scour, the pot scourer away, I'm going to swap to just a normal cloth because I don't want to obviously take away the non-stick coating. with that one. So I have cleaned it but there's still still some carbonation on there. I'm not I'm not gonna scrub it because like I say I don't want to take away the non-stick coating. Um, so let me empty the water out and I'll do a quick conclusion. So, each of these. Okay, so each of these methods that you've just seen um, is a supposed hack to make it easier to clean pots once you've used a transgear stove. Um, and I'm gonna say, I'm actually quite surprised that they all work to a varying degree. Um, I knew that the uh, washing up liquid would work because it's one I've been using for years. Really surprised about the salt actually um, and how well that cleaned up. Uh, the water in the methylated spirits, again surprised um, about how well that cleaned up. It's not as easy um, to clean and you need more elbow grease than you do with either of these two. But yeah, it does work and obviously non-stick um, pot is gonna work anyway. I mm, Compared to the others, I'm not actually I'm not actually as impressed um, with the with the ease of cleaning on that one, um, but yeah, I hope the I hope this video has been proved proved useful for those for you those of you that use tranges. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.